So sexism and drugs, uh, it's been a busy year in women's tennis. How great is it for you to see these crowds come out for qualifying here in Charleston? You know, Sunday was the biggest Sunday of the tournament. So that is fantastic. I was practicing and the, the whole crowd was there and people were dressed up. They were looking nice. They know their tennis here and there's quality matches. And it is extremely entertaining. Actually, I was practicing next to a, a match court and I couldn't stop watching the match. So it's like, Venus, focus on you because soon you're going to have to play. But it's awesome to be back in Charleston. You know, it's, it's been a lot going on this year. But there's also been a lot of great tennis this year, and that's really the main focus of the players is, is playing the best tennis that we can because um, or else you go home. And I don't want to go home. I love Charleston, so I want to be here as long as I can. I think it was just a few years ago, right around this tournament, that you had received a diagnosis. How's your health going forward? Uh, you know, it's been almost five years now, and... Um, it's, it's something you live with every day, but it's something that I, I conquer every day, I like to think. And conquering it is just giving your best and not living in fear, and that's what I do.